Hey guys, welcome back to Successify and our Happiness is a Habit series. This is the series where we talk about the different habits and practices of those people that are always happy. What are the things they're doing in their life that produce that happiness? Because believe it or not, they're not just born that way. A lot of them have developed habits that make them that way. Today we're going to talk about America's favorite pastime. Now for years and years and years, we always heard that America's favorite pastime is what? Baseball. Now, as I'm out and about at a restaurant eating lunch or just interacting with people, I'm starting to see a new pastime that's coming and starting to overtake baseball as our national favorite pastime. I'll tell you all about it. So as we spend time observing society and the way that people interact with each other, I believe that our actual favorite real pastime might actually be gossip talking bad about other people when they're not around to defend themselves. Now, if you go out to lunch and you listen in on conversations around you, it's pretty rare to hear people say, oh, so-and-so did this great thing. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, and then they accomplished this. And their kids are great. They did this, this, and this. She must be a great mom. Very rarely do you ever hear that conversation. Usually the conversations you will hear are, can you believe so-and-so did this? Can you believe she said that? I can't believe she lets her kids do that. Why do we do that? Why do we gossip? What do we get out of talking bad about other people? And I've come to the conclusion that a lot of it comes down to our own insecurities. We don't feel good about ourselves. We don't feel good about decisions we've made. We don't feel good about something about our life or how we feel about ourselves on the inside. And so what do we do as a defense mechanism? We try to deflect people's attention from us. We start talking bad about other people. We bring up their shortcomings, their bad decisions, their things that we don't agree with, in the hopes that if we cast enough of that light onto them, that people won't have time to focus on us and the things that we don't feel good about ourselves. Because if people took the time to focus on us and our life and the way things are going for us, maybe they would judge us badly. It's really a self-destructive habit. The more that we gossip about others, the less good we feel inside. It may deflect the, the attention for a, a few moments, but it doesn't make us look any better. It doesn't build any friendships with anybody. It's really just smoke and mirrors. It's a cheap trick for in that moment to feel good about pointing out the shortcomings of other people. It is definitely not a road to happiness. It's more self-destructive than we might even think. And so I want you to think for a moment about Maybe those friends you have, you know who they are. They're always happy to tell you something bad about somebody else. They seem to have all the information. They know what's going on, and they're just happy to give it to you. Well, you should know that those friends you have that are talking bad about other people to you are also talking bad about you to other people. You're lying to yourself if you think that you have a great friendship with this person and they're only going to say bad things about other people. Someone who's in the habit of gossiping will gossip about anybody, they'll talk bad about anybody, they will focus on anybody else except themselves. It doesn't matter if they've been your friend for years. If that's what the habit they're into, as soon as you're gone, they'll bring your name up to somebody else. And so gossip can destroy friendships. It can keep them very shallow. And it never really solves the problem of helping us feel good about ourselves. So today I want to talk a little bit about how can you flip that? What are some things you can do to feel better about yourself? Because it's the opposite of what a lot of people think it is. People you see that are always happy are very rarely in the habit of gossiping. They usually find a way to stop people from gossiping. People that are chronically happy, that are in the habit of doing things that make them happy, here's what they do. They say good things about people when they're not around. They'll compliment people when they're not around. Have you ever complimented someone behind their back? Have you ever had a conversation with somebody talking about a third person that wasn't even there and gone on and on about the great things they were doing, the things that were to be admired in them? It's pretty rare. Very rarely do you hear it. But the people that are in the habit of doing that find that they start to feel better about themselves. And that's where it gets counterintuitive. The more that you talk about and build up and compliment other people, the better you feel about yourself inside. Just the way that gossip and bringing down other people continues to make you feel bad inside, 
lifting other people also lifts yourself. In life, it's impossible to lift somebody else up without also being brought up yourself. And so people that are in the habit of talking good about people behind their back start to feel more self-confident. They start to feel better about themselves. And so that's the challenge for today. Find opportunities to, number one, stop a gossiping conversation. Use some phrase, change the subject, whatever it is. Don't go down that tempting path of gossip. And the second challenge is find a way to compliment somebody to another person, someone who's not even there. Talk about people behind their back in a good way. Compliment them behind their back. I promise that as you do it, you'll start to feel a lot happier on the inside, which will come out on the outside. People will feel your confidence. They'll know that you're happy because you don't participate in the negativity of gossiping. Your words are powerful. They're powerful on the outside. They're powerful on the inside. Mother Teresa said, kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes truly are endless. So as you go out there this week, talk about people behind their back in a positive way. Your words make a difference. Thanks so much for joining. Hope to see you next time.